What's going on YouTube? West Tobby's RC. So today we are back with the MicroHeli 230S build. We are doing the tail section today. So basically we have everything lined up of what we need. We have all of our parts lined out. Of course, you're going to need your 230S tail motor. We are using the MicroHeli uh, 85 millimeter three bladed tail blade. Uh, if you're using your stock tail blade, then you would have your stock tail blade here. We have the stock tail hub here. Everything else is all micro heli. So the only stock parts we have here are the tail motor and the actual prop adapter hub. So basically what we're gonna do to get started is we are gonna start with our tail motor mount. So basically you're just gonna take your tail motor mount and just like a stock 230, you are going to feed your wires through the mount. So just feed them through here can be a little tricky to get them all through pull your motor through and just do it gently and carefully you don't want to shave any of your wires it will fit just like this so we only need two screws here and we're going to be using the stock screws that came out of the mount so we're gonna set that down for a second let's get our Loctite ready let me readjust the camera all right we readjusted the camera here so we got our screw ready with the Loctite, and it doesn't matter which side, you just wanna be careful when you're putting the tail motor wires or the screws in that you don't go all the way through and pinch off the coils. So I'm going to use these upper two. So I'm gonna use this hole here, and just get one started. So I'm gonna use this top hole and I'm going to use the opposing bottom hole. You might have to kind of finagle and push the motor because the wires are hanging up but that's normal so let's get loctite on the other screw again you just need a dab of loctite nothing crazy you don't need to go overboard here and then we're just going to take this screw into here get it started push everything flat and tighten it down very easy very simple and when you're done tightening just double check make sure that your screws are not hitting anything motor spins freely because if this screw touches any of the inside windings you can short the motor out so it's going to look like this very easy simple done next part we are going to want to grab you're going to notice in the kit you'll have this little collar so this little collar is going to slide on the tail boom first fill up screw will be like this fill up screw down now take your boom, you'll notice you have two slots on your boom here and here, and then in the front you have one slot at the bottom. This is the side that goes into the helicopter where your tail motor wires come out of. This is the side that goes into your tail mount. So first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and slide this on. Actually, you know what? Let's slide our boom clamp. You don't have to do this. You can, uh, it comes apart in two pieces, but I might as well just slide it on already. So we're gonna slide this on. We want the micro heli logo up. We're gonna slide our boom clamp on, or a boom, yeah, fin clamp on. Then we're gonna go ahead and slide the other clamp into place, which it is tightened, so we need to loosen it up. So just go ahead, loosen that up, so it will slide onto the boom properly. We wanna do this carefully so we don't scratch any of this all up because we don't want to scratch our beautiful carbon fiber up. So now the fun part. So there's two ways to do this, and I'm gonna grab a piece of wire to show you. So you can try and force all three of these wires through the boom like this, and just push. And sometimes you can get lucky and you can get them all the way through, which we might be able to do. And sometimes you can't. If you can't, grab yourself a piece of wire, which actually we can get them all the way through, which is super nice. I might have spoke too soon, and I did. So let me grab a piece of wire and I'll show you because we're right, I mean, we're right there. So you can do it with a piece of wire through the boom. You can try shoving it through till you get it to the end, which we're not. So let's grab a piece of wire, hold on. All right, so I have myself a piece of push rod here. Just regular piano music wire, spring steel wire about three feet long i use this for doing airplanes when i'm pulling wires through the wing so what you can do is you can go ahead 
and slide it through the boom like this until it comes out the other side. And then you're gonna to wanna to take your motor wires and you can nice and neatly hold them together like this. Take yourself a piece of blue painter's tape, wrap them tightly because you don't want nothing catching in the boom and you don't want it to be too thick so we don't need a lot. So let's go ahead and tear and some strong painter's tape. Just tear it off. Now we'll grab our boom and we'll nice and even and neatly get it started. Make sure this is inside. Push it through and then gently pull and keep pulling until your wires come out the end. Make sure they don't get caught, so you don't want to you don't want to cut your wires. And then just keep pulling, and again, making sure they don't get caught. So you just keep pulling them through. We're almost to the end now, and then you'll notice again you have your two slots. This is a stop, so we're going to push this gently, and it's going to slide in one way. We just push it till it stops, and then we take our tape off. It did its job. Our motor wires are through the boom like they should be. So now our motor is on the boom. We are good to go. Actually, I want to rotate this because you'll notice the micro heli. So let's flip this over because tail motor. Okay, rotate. And there we are. So you want to make sure that your motor wires come out the bottom. And your motor is going to be when you're looking at the helicopter on the right side. So now we can take our screw out here. Of course, we got to put a dab of Loctite. Got to make sure you guys Loctite everything. It is very important. You don't want stuff vibrating and coming out in flight. And you don't need much Loctite. You just need a dab. And then now, now this is carbon fiber boom, so we don't want to overkill the tightness. We just want to tighten it up until it stops and snug it down. We are good. So now we're going to take our other clamp here. Now this is for the fin. So we're not going to tighten this down yet until we know where the fin is going. So now we have our screws here. Again, a little bit of Loctite. And we're going to put a washer on them. And then a little Loctite. Just a dab. We will run it through our boom here. And then we are our fin. We'll go ahead and loosely tighten it down. And then we're going to adjust this little clamp until we get it to line up with this clamp which is right here that's why we're not tightening nothing down yet until we get it roughly where we want it to be about right there we'll grab our next screw we'll put a nice little washer on it like this and then run it down Little Loctite, and then just tighten it up. And once we get this where we want it, we can go ahead and tighten the other clamp down. And then the back half is pretty much done. So again, make sure we take this screw out. We want a little bit of Loctite, of course. We want to make sure that nothing comes loose. And this is the same principle when you're working on anything with screws. Anything that goes into metal needs to be Loctited. And again, not a lot of Loctite. I can't tell you how many times I have seen people over Loctite, especially where bearings are. And now look at that. Beautiful, clean, simple. So now let's just go ahead while we're back here. 
let's get the tail motor adapter on. So we're gonna go ahead and pull each screw out and then Loctite them, a little bit of Loctite, and then we'll pull the other one out once we get it on. And then now on your motor, you're gonna have flat spots. I guess this motor doesn't have flat spots. So we're gonna run it down. And that's another reason why we need to make sure we Loctite it, because we don't have flat spots, which is actually very dumb if you ask me. There should be flat spots. So let's pull the other one out. Flat spots just stop it from slipping. But the Loctite will act like a glue and secure it as well. So now don't go overboard. This is aluminum. Gently tighten it down. Snug the other one evenly. Now we are ready for our tail blade. So now we have our tail blade. Now remember, guys, I made a video on this and it's on the channel many months ago if you want to check out how to do this or the proper way. But when you are installing a tail blade, okay, remember that you are pushing air. So please, you got to install it the right way. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people with the 230, the M2, all of them. They install the tail blade backwards. So they install it like this. And then they wonder why they have crappy tail performance. So when you're looking at your blade, look at the cut way. The way that the air, the blade shape is. So you want the blade to catch the air and you're pushing. So the proper way to install it would be where the sides of the blade cutway are out. Not like this, but like this. So now there is going to be a flat spot on the shaft, on the collar. See that there? My collar is messed up. I need to get a new collar. But, and then in the blade itself, there is going to be a flat spot. It is right there. So you're going to want to line the flat spot with the flat spot. And then you want to push this together. And then just, it's a little tight, which is good. We want it to be tight. And then you're just going to work this down. Let's keep working it down. And we got it. Pretty much. I'll keep working it down a little more. But then, it's definitely tight. There we go. Now it's seated into place. We want it to be flat. We are good to go. And remember, we are pushing air. So this is the proper way to install your blade. Okay? Proper way. Not the other way around. So now we'll take our little end cap that we got that came with the kit put a dab of loctite now they did include a little paper clip if you're wondering what this paper clip for in the kit is to tighten this down i'll just use a t-pen but you can use a paper clip so now we will gently get this started remember to always start your screws and to never cross thread anything so tighten this down till it stops Take your paper clip and or T-pen, grab your tail motor and tighten. There we go. Now our complete tail section, look at that. That looks so good, all that carbon. Tail blade is installed the proper way. All the carbon looks great, the aluminum, everything on this side is done now. So now we move forward. So now the next step if you don't have the boom clamps and support, then you don't have to do this step. But if you do, then this is the next step. So the next step is going to be the boom supports, which we can't really do until we get it in the helicopter. So let's go ahead, let's readjust. Also, if you're doing this kit and you wonder what these little screws right here are for. These little screws are for if you're using the stock frame to hold your boom supports into the plastic frame. If you are using the micro heli frame like we are here, these little screws are not needed. So you can set those aside. Don't need those screws. So we need these machine screws here. So let's reposition the camera and let's get ready to slide the boom into the helicopter. All right, next part now is getting the boom into the helicopter. So now this part is gonna be tricky. But if you notice, your boom has your cut your boom has cutouts in the bottom like this. But for now, we want the wires like this. So what you're going to want to do 
is you're going to want to slide your wires and you might have to do these one by one. You might can only do them two by two, but basically what you want to do is just slide and then you want to feed your other wire in. And you just want to keep doing this till you get all your wires through the boom like so. And I'm going to do this off the camera because this can take a little bit of time, but I'm just showing you how you want to do it. So you're going to want to push these through one by one. You might need to use something like a little pair of uh, needle nose, something, use some tools. You're going to want to pull each wire out. And then once you get them through, then we can slide the entire boom in. So I'm going to go ahead, feed these three wires through so it doesn't take 10 minutes of me just trying. And then once we get those three wires through, we'll be back. All right. After a few minutes of messing around with the wires, we did get them through. As you can see, they're right there. So now we get to pull the wires try to do this where you guys can see it and knock you not knock you around sorry hold on let me just do this okay so now our boom is slid into place I know you can't see this right now but I am trying it takes about three hands and two people to do this but I am one person and two hands so we got all of our wires down and out like this now we have them accessible. Slide your boom up and you're going to slide it till it stops, which is right where it stopped now. Now make sure your wires are not pinched. Look down inside. Our wires are good to go. So now we can go ahead and you're going to want to Loctite this bolt, of course. For right now, I'm just going to snug it up. And again, you don't want to go crazy. You don't want to crack the carbon but it's in place now. So now our boom is on, our wires are run. So now the next step is the boom supports. So we left this clamp loose for a reason. And of course, now you hook up your tail motor wires, but you're gonna grab your boom supports and you're going to grab a screw, 1.5 driver on everything, exception of a few Phillips screws but this whole kit is a 1.5 driver. A little dab of Loctite. And move these out of the way. We'll slide these through here. And run these screws down. Then you just wanna snug them, not tighten yet. Now, of course, I'm not gonna Loctite these bottom screws because I may have to pull this stuff back apart depending on what we're doing, but you're gonna want to Loctite your bottom screws and they're gonna go into the bottom of the frame like this. So you gotta move your clamp back until they fit and those are gonna go right into the bottom of this frame. Of course, make sure you Loctite them. So now we have our boom clamp, our rod on, now let's move to the other side same thing we're going to take another screw here we're going to lock tight these because i'm not pulling this back off but if i need to pull the boom back off for some reason or i like to leave the boom stuff not lock tight until i'm completely done with setup because sometimes it just makes life easier so tighten these down again not super tight just snug them grab your last screw here that will be for this bottom boom support drop a loctite actually i said i wasn't going to loctite those and i did anyways oh whatever we can go for broke here and make sure we don't have to pull nothing apart So run your screw in, tighten these down, and then all that's left is hooking up your tail motor wires, which is just as simple as plugging the bullets in. So now we can lock this down. Now we can lock these down. Lock your other sides down. But don't go too crazy yet because we still actually need to do the top. So let's not lock those down yet. So let's go ahead, let's pull these screws out. And the reason why I was saying before you don't have to slide this on yet is because you can, this is a two-part clamp. 
So, just as you've seen, this clamp can drop. So you don't have to technically uh, slide that on before you put the boom on, or if you're doing it on a stock helicopter, like a stock 230, and you just want to add the boom supports, you can do that too. And then you don't have to pull nothing apart to do that, which is very nice. Very good idea. And I'm an idiot. This has to go through here first. See, you guys are learning with me. This is my very first time assembling a micro heli kit like this, but I will say I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with the quality of this kit. So you're just gonna go ahead, push it up into place. We don't wanna go tight yet. Grab our last screw that we dropped and lock tight that screw. There we go. A little too much Loctite. Wipe excess off. Run that screw down here. Then we're just going to want to align everything. Make sure it's all straight. Tighten it down. Again, don't go overboard. It's carbon fiber. You will crush it. Just like aluminum. If you tighten aluminum too much, you will crush it. And just like that, the tail section is done. So let me take the camera off the tripod and give you guys a complete overview. All right, just like that, we are done with the tail section. It is incredible. This kit is, I highly recommend this kit. I mean, this is just next level build kit. I mean, everything fit like it should. Everything went together smoothly, no modifications, no nothing. Incredible, all the carbon looks so good. Everything is strong. Like it just took the 230 to a whole new level. Like this doesn't even look like a 230 anymore. This is just crazy. So now I wanna add some yellow to the bottom of the skid, some of the fins, some of the, skid, the bottom of the landing skids, tail skid, but tail section is done. So now the only part left of this build series is we need to install the King Cobra canopy which will be a separate video, so anybody who's trying to install a King Cobra canopy knows how to do it. And then we just need to level the swash plate and mount the head for the final time, get the blades on it, and see what this thing looks like. I cannot wait. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps some of you. You guys are building the Micro Heli 230 Performance Kit or doing the tail or whatever you guys are doing. Hopefully this helps. Huge shout out to Micro Heli again. This kit will be linked in the description below. Check out their website. Anything you need for any helicopter upgrade, they got it. You wanna do this kit to your 230, I highly recommend it. It transforms it to a whole new helicopter. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again to Micro Heli. Take care, have a great day.